Okay, so it's uh, what, Wiki Speed Stand Up uh, August 20th, 2015. Um, so, what I was able to get done uh, last week uh, was I started uh, the shop setup basically at the Sunday build party. Um, and as excellent phrase that uh, Joe's uses, I kind of sliced through the, uh, the, the pie there, tried to give a full layer. Not, nothing. Nothing is spectacular yet, but a lot of everything fundamentally got done. So um, I posted a demo of what uh, was completed during the build party. Um, I had some interaction with uh, my aluminum provider and found out that they don't charge any extra for cutting or providing any length, uh, which is amazing. And they also, because they're a local shop, uh, don't charge anything to deliver right to my front door. Uh, so I went ahead and, and ordered that. Um, it's about a week lead time. I don't think that they actually produce it locally. Um, but the, they were able to do 6063, like T5 whatever it is, in two days, but not 6061 T6. Um, okay, I spent some time uh, on the um, online scrum board project. I took uh, Joe's email. Uh, that he provided to the team and broke that down into a series of epics on the scrum board um, that's that's tracking that um, to try to get it you know into something that we can really start start working towards. Uh, oh, and one thing uh, uh, related to that is I started looking um, at Django, um, which is a Python framework for web development. Uh, possibly seems like maybe a good fit. Um, it's still kind of up in the air which which framework we're going to go for, how we're going to do it. So I'm trying to see how many different ideas everybody has and what 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 will work well. So that was that was one I was looking at anyway, uh, which takes me to what I'll um, try to accomplish next week. Um, hopefully, I think that'll happen in the next sprint. Is I will be receiving the aluminum, so I've got to uh, go over there and schedule a time to meet up with the people who are delivering it. Um, on the Sunday build party, I'm going to drop off and sort uh, more tools at the shop. Uh, I'm going to hang up uh, the whiteboard that's tracking everything um, because I was not able to do that last time where I was going to hang it. had some had some blocks. Um, and I did want to mention that that whiteboard uh, was donated by a coworker of mine, um, Frank Arthur III. He was super awesome about it when he found out what, what, I was having trouble finding a solution for a whiteboard. Uh, he had one um, that the kids like to play with in the, in the garage. And um, so he made that available to me. Um, so hopefully during the Sunday build party, I'm going to be able to start taking that VW Roadster apart um, so I can assess what needs to be done. Uh, it, it's been sitting in a field so long that the most important part of the car, obviously, is going to be the chassis. And just the part I can see has a huge amount of rust. So I need to get everything off of there so I can assess whether uh, what's left of it can be repaired or if I need to um, seek another chassis, which there, I've, I've already looked, there's options out there, um, not hugely expensive. If I, if, but I would prefer to go ahead and, and um, refurbish that one. But I've got to figure out if it's if it's uh, possible, or whatever. Um, I want to set up an ice scrum demo. Uh, I've, I've tried this the last two weeks actually and ran into blocks on it, um, and that's to help along with the online scrum board to see if there's maybe. A product out there that is 100% open source that can be modified to what we need as opposed to building completely from scratch. Uh, so that's the thought on that anyway. And until I get one set up, I'll have no idea if, uh, if that's possible or not. Um, I want to finalize the own cloud file sync. Um, it is fully usable now, but there's a few files that were in the Dropbox that I've not been able to get into own cloud uh, on the CAD side um, that are way that are really far down into uh, the directory structure that didn't sync up properly. I think it's like six files. Um, so I just want to finalize that. And then uh, once I do that, I'll, I'll share with the team exactly how to access that and make that the document repository or the file repository, I suppose. Um, okay, which brings me to the last thing, which uh, is, is... So I want to hang up the um, Extreme Manufacturing Six Practices in the shop which leads me into my block as I was not able to find that in Dropbox or on the website. I know it exists. I've seen it. I was not able to find it this time. Um, uh, maybe when I'm looking in own cloud uh, and syncing that up, I'll find it. But, but that would be my block.
and uh, I'll hold off on retrospective and process improvement and let the rest of the team uh, share what they did uh, last week and plan on doing next week. So who wanted to go next? Um, I would share, but uh, my it's pretty sweet and pretty short. I have nothing to report and I have nothing planned. Next. I have nothing to report and nothing planned. <laughs> Still, nice to have people chime in saying that they care and want to listen. Um, in the last week, I... Uh, did I get done? Adjust uh, microphone gain. The other two people are much louder. Just a suggestion, the, not a demand. This is all I've got on my phone. Can you hear me at all? Yeah, I can just adjust my volume up. That's fine. I can hear you fine. Okay. Well, hopefully the recording gets, uh, hears me at all. I'm adjusting so, volume on the recording, too. On the V31 suspension, I worked with Troy on Sunday, and we assembled the front left with brake rotors and brake calipers. That demo video is up and online. On the front right, we weren't able to get the brake rotor on on time. Well, on time. During the time box, we had one of the uh, rotor screws, the screws holding the brake rotor on, had uh, rusted in place from the donor vehicle. I actually, I don't even think it rusted, but it seized because it was nice and shiny. There wasn't rust on it, but anyway, it, it was seized. So we were drilling that screw head off. I mean, I had to go to the airport, I think, to fly to a client. Troy was still working on it. So I'll be down in the shop in about 30 minutes and I'll see the current state. He may have gotten it done. Uh, if not, that leads into part of what I'll be doing this week, which is attempting to complete V31 suspension on the front of chassis number eight, which would mean that V31 suspension is on the front left and front right with wheels and tires, so I can drop test it, uh, which will be not perfectly indicative of success, but give us a stress test that's repeatable versus other suspensions to see if that thing is durable, because that's a fully different idea design prototype, and we'll see how it goes. Also last week, um, I built car number seven twice as a training exercise in Minneapolis. Um, the folks put the car together, uh, drove it, drove it down the, the roadway. There's some YouTube clips of that. It was super fun. Um, they had a tequila bar and five kegs, and it was a hilarious party with plenty of dance music and lots of good alcohol. Top shelf, no ground grade alcohol tequila, which apparently is very important to some people in Minneapolis. Um, I don't drink right now, not at present, but oh my gosh, it's super ridiculously fun. And that really helps people feel like uh, it was a comfortable, safe setting to try something new. I think that created a good vibe. So that was also in the last week. That also then helps fund Wikispeed. Wikispeed gets some money from each time that we do those car builds. Um, with some of those funds, I'm going to try to get the next set of tires. I called Evasive Motorsports, where we got our 12-inch wide wheels ordered from. Um, I found if you're willing to wait seven weeks lead time, it's cheaper to do custom wheels than buy off-the-shelf wheels for really wide wheels. So it was absolutely the cheapest deal, and I ordered those six weeks ago. So I know they're not due yet, but I called Evasive Motorsports to check on them, the Ford Star F14s, um, and they said they didn't have an update for me yet, and they'll let me know soon. Um, so followed up with them this week, then we'll be ordering the racing slicks for some track time attacks um, as soon as I have the ETA of those wheels, because I don't want tires just sitting around, especially racing slicks. They expire, they start to degrade. So I'm trying to have them arrive right at the same time as the wheels to check clearance with V31 suspension, as that's part of V31's goal is to allow for the widest tires you can order stock. Uh, which should let us attempt some track records in an Eco Challenge car that might be interesting. Um, and some real validation. And the uh, wikispeed.de motorsports team is hungry for that, which uh, I'm pumped to help provide. Also in the last sprint, I started fabricating uh, a new steering rack prototype, all made in-house. Uh, there have been some versions of it done before. Um, 
this updated version is even cheaper and even simpler. And I, I imagine if it works well, we'll see what the Texas shop will try. Uh, and also V31 suspension, if it works well, is what I'll be sending to Michael Wolchak in Canada, because I think it'll fit his needs better than any of the ones we've done before. Uh, and likely what the Texas shop will want to do. Also, before I go to the shop, so as soon as stand up is done, I'm going to email directly to Chris Wallace the shop practice signs and ask if he gets them, if they open well, to attach them to the setting up your Wikispeed shop uh, blog entry if possible. Yes. And if that's a big headache, not to worry about it, but I'll ask him to try. Um, and what else was I going to do about that? There's one other thing I was going to try to do in the office before I go to the shop. And I don't remember. Okay. Well, also what I'm going to try to get done this week is the drop test of the car if I can. And after this Sunday, my wife has said, Joe, we've got a darling little baby at home. Can you not do Wikispeed on Sundays? And she was super loving about it. And it was just as much me saying, you know, I'm really tired on Sundays. <laughs> I'd like to not be fabricating. So at least for the near future, I'll be Wikispeed fabricating on Thursdays. But I think this Sunday will be the last one for a while. And I'll try that pace of life and see how that works, uh, which hopefully means more progress on Thursdays and because I'll be fresher and less on Sundays. We'll see how that goes. Blocking issues for me, I don't know the ETA of our tire, of our wheels, but that's up to Evasive Motorsports and Ford Star. So that's not a block the team can help me with directly, I don't think. Um, also, I don't have some CAD that I would love that I haven't gotten to as quickly as I'd like for the shifter mount, the parking brake mount, and um, the windshield uh, windshield frame. Actually, I got the windshield frame done. That was another thing from last week and talked to Big Blue Saw about that and have an opportunity to order it from them, which I may try to get done next week. So if folks want to do some 2D CAD, these are all 2D parts to be cut out, which can be done in 3D just with a pin sheet, which basically makes it 2D. I could love the help. That would speed that up. Gosh, what else do I have? So, uh, it would need to be measurements taken from a 2006 Honda Civic. So, uh, no, I, with that. That's the challenge is someone would need to measure the part and then CAD. So if I did the drawing, I might as well make the CAD. Um, that's, the, that's the slowdown. Uh, also, progress was made on the next gen electric motor module. I secured an agreement for Momentum Power to have long term loan of their net gain warp 11. I already hooked up to a Honda transmission and a potentiometer and a bank of old school lead acid batteries that are already installed in a Wikispeed car. Uh, the batteries, I need to charge them. I might get that done this week. And I think the potentiometer for the accelerator pedal needs to be replaced, but we should have another functioning Wikispeed electric car soon when I can get to that. So a potential help item would be if someone had access to Linwood with an EV experience to help get that car rocking and uh, film its demos. But I'll see if I can make some headway on it myself, even though I don't have deep EV experience. So to be determined. Uh, also, advancements were made on the brakes and parking brakes in Minneapolis. They designed some new systems as part of their build party, and they were awesome. So those are in their demo videos, and I'll attempt to get those in CAD, too, so that people who access own cloud can get to them. I talk longer than I meant to. Sorry about that, guys, but that's uh, that's the summary. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, the dual Xeon processor that, uh, or computer that Michael loaned you, um, have you tested that out with the uh, with the polarized scanner yet? Let's do that during the uh, open Q and A section of of the call. Thank you very much, Milo. Um, which brings me to: Is there anyone on the call with a stand up who has not yet given it? Fantastic. That takes us to retrospective. Uh, for me. Five. I built two cars and drove one in the last week. That was ridiculous. And I can't say I, with a team of drunk people in Minneapolis, which was super ridiculously fun. Um, uh, for the team, 
I'd say four and a half if own cloud gets up and running. And I know there's some trickiness to it, which makes it just non-trivial and it just takes a little more time than anybody would really want. But if it does, I think it'll be easier for us to post links and share the current version of record. And I think we might be able to have more people collaborate more effectively. So that could be cool. Uh, process improvement from my end would be figuring out a way to make it super easy, low friction for people to download CAD of our chassis. Now there's all the rest of our CAD, there's all eight modules, but starting with the chassis is, well, I mean, it's a big chunk of the car and people can then relate to it, I hope. So that's the process improvement I would suggest is swarming on making it frictionless and trivial for people to download our chassis i.e. having a link to download it with a picture and maybe even an animated GIF that's thinning just to make it super clear right on our homepage before you scroll down. I mean, just make it big and say, this is available Creative Commons. This is our chassis. It connects to all the other modules available in our store also with CAD available coming soon or whatever. Uh, that's the process improvement I'll suggest. Um, who would like to go next? I'll go. Um, you always throw me off a, a little, Joe, when you use the five-point scale, because I'm used to using the ten-point scale <clears throat> on the retrospective. But I mean, no problem. Quick, quick adjustment there. Um, I'm gonna go uh, maybe a four for me. <laughs> um, I think I got a lot done, um, and I would say if I was dealing with the global Wikispeed team, I would have given that a five because it's very easy for me to participate. Uh, so the point deduction there was based on a local team. Um, I'm still trying to gear up enthusiasm enough for people to get into the shop. And I mean, because I mean, I, I'm limited by my abilities for how fast the shop can go if I'm the only one there. Um, when other people show up, amazing things happen. Uh, the most stuff that was done was because my dad and my brother um, showed up and helped me get those, you know, a majority of that stuff done. Um, so that, that would be my, my one limiting factor there. Uh, and definitely a five for the team. Everyone's doing an awesome job. I, I love seeing, it's, it, it seems like, and maybe this is like even seasonably unusual, but it seems like there's a massive amount of communication going through the forum, um, which is, is just amazing. Uh, there's plenty of interest there. Um, so originally my, uh, my, what I wrote down for the process improvement, I just said more social media, which to me means if everybody on the team can just share something about Wikispeed on their social media platform of choice. Um, but I actually wrote something down um, about what Joe just brought up about own cloud. Uh, so it is somewhat trivial what it needs to is done uh, or needs to complete that completely. But it's, you know, a little time consuming and really, like I said, because of the work I've done to it tied to me being at this computer, which makes it very time or hard, hard to schedule out because I spend very little time here. But uh, so my process improvement there would maybe be if someone wants to pair with me to see how it works, that would motivate me massively to get it done. Uh, just so I can explain, and I'll have to relearn some of it because it's been a while since I actually set up the base structure. Um, so that, that may be something if someone wants to understand how it works better and wants to, uh, to pair up on it, that probably get it knocked out easily within an hour. Easily. It's I mean, amazing the difference pairing makes. Right. I hear you. Right. I wonder if I can make time to be determined. It might be possible. Right. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, like again, anyone that's interested in it. I mean, if, if there's five people there, it'll be even more interesting, you know, so. Um, okay. So I wanted to mention one thing real quick about uh, Joe's process improvement, about having the CAD available easily to everyone. I actually have built the chassis in uh, FreeCAD, and I think maybe exported those to step files somewhere. Um, so that may be the easiest for someone to access without having to have some sort of a software license. I'll have to find those and verify that they're viable. Um, but I know I, that was that that was what I used as the test to validate if FreeCAD was going to work for us or not, was I built the chassis in it. Um, if you do and email a link to it, a shareable link to it, to the team, mm -hmm. then I'll propose in route a process improvement where we all try to post that on social media. Okay, perfect. And, and one of us tries to post it on the homepage of wikispeed.org. Um, right. But I'd happily tweet that link, Facebook that link. I think those are the two I use, really. I um, want to say I posted a JPEG of it in Dropbox a long time ago. 
but somewhere I have the original files of what I, of what, what I worked on there. And in FreeCAD, it was somewhat of a challenge. It, it, it's, you know, it was kind of like you're building an assembly in a product that doesn't allow assemblies. Uh, but it is there, and it is available for people to download and grab the individual pieces of. So, and I, um, yeah, and everything else I have uh, that that wraps up uh, re retrospective and process improvement. Uh, the last thing I have is uh, uh, better for open discussion. Who else has a retrospective that they would like to share? Okay, that takes us to open conversation. Now is a perfect time. Milo, you had a topic you wanted to talk about uh, as well. Now is an excellent time. Hey, Michael mentioned uh, finding a lender with a dual Xeon uh, processor, around like two point six, I think he said. That should be faster than an i seven in a lot of respect. Doing, I was wondering if it's working well for your polarized three D scanner. So, uh, for demo purposes. Here is the 3D system sense handheld scanner, 200 bucks. Uh, the cheapest of the stuff that will totally work for scanning our uh, our needs to get OEM parts, rough outlines in the gap. So, for example, mating up carbon fiber shells to headlights that we just buy, which is one of the use cases. It's perfect for that. But it had been pegging the CPU of my Microsoft Surface Pro 2. That I totally love, but uh, it was CPU limited because it has heavy CPU calcs and memory usage to figure out the 3D shape of the thing it's scanning. So Michael Hasse lent us a actually um, eight core server with 24 gigs of RAM and 10,000 RPM hard drives and all kinds of goodness, uh, but no OS. And the Sense 3D Systems scanner. The best, I haven't looked it up again. What I remembered was that it only has software for Windows. I don't remember that to be true, but I think it is, and I haven't confirmed. So my block is getting Windows on some media, a Windows license of, I think it will run on 7, 8, or 10. Um, but getting that onto the server and then installing the Sense software. And I, I haven't had the time to get a Windows DVD. I, don't, I haven't even looked at the server. I don't know if it has a DVD drive, but no problem. I just copy it to a if, USB. But that's the current block, so I, I can't test it. Deposed, I can encrypt an ISO for you and send it over that has pre-activation on it. I, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you, Milo. Oh, if you're not morally opposed to using <laughs> Windows 7 for free, um, I have an ISO that has the activator installed and everything on it. Um, and I can put it in an encrypted file so we don't need to use... Uh, or VPNs or anything, and we can just throw it up on a server where you can download it. Like, I, ab I absolutely love and respect where you're coming from. For for the business, I do want everything to be legit and licensed. Plus, uh, uh, Windows isn't that expensive anyway, and they really do make a fantastic business product. So for business purposes, I think it just makes sense for Wikispeed to have a license on the scanning server. Um, and so I, that's that's my thing. It's easy enough to order and have a DVD shipped to my house or a downloadable ISO to mount on anything, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, so that's the block there. Are there any other questions or topics for open conversation? I need to check, but I have a Microsoft Action Pack um, from a couple years ago that I believe is still valid um, and probably have a handful. I'll say more than three licenses that have not that have not been activated yet. Uh, those are specifically for 8.1. Um, I'll look into it and see. I, again, I have to dig out the media. There, there's some there's some time there. Um, but if you don't have another option, I may have an extra license that is a valid license that's assigned to me um, that may be available. Well, Chris, I love it. Here's the horrible part. Behind me is a closet with a box full of DVDs. <laughs> there may be a licensed copy of Windows 7 sitting in there. Which I prefer and 7, honestly. It'll probably take me, honestly, probably 15 minutes to dig through it. And I just don't know when I'm going to have even 15 minutes. Right. But it might be right behind me. <laughs> and So here's the thing. While you may be motivated enough to look through your collection and mail me media ready to install, 
I would be thrilled out of my mind, but then feel horrible <laughs> if three months from now I'm going through that box and I go, it was right there. Well, that may be the copy that ends up on the computer that I need, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, you know what? I realized it's 6.32, and uh, people don't plan to meet me at the shop usually until 7. What? And I already emailed the five the six practices signs to you and the team. Oh, you're awesome. Um, that happened, so I got that one done. So what I may do is actually get into that box from now to 7, 7 p.m. here uh, Pacific time. And uh, see if I've got a copy of Windows Seven or newer licensed widget, and I think I, I think I might. So anyway, I can find out okay. today. And if I don't, then I can put an email to the team saying, "Does someone have a valid license for Windows Seven or newer that they wouldn't mind uh, donating to Team WikiSpeed?" Awesome. Uh, la last thing you had mentioned, uh, in, you did the I guess two Minneapolis builds. And there were demos. Yeah. Have those been posted to Wikispeed YouTube? Because I haven't seen them yet. No, gosh, I haven't logged in and done anything cool like that. They've been tweeted. Okay. YouTube links have been tweeted to at Wikispeed and at Stroming, my, my real business, yes. my income business. Yes. Um, then I can find But Wikispeed hasn't liked them from a YouTube account yet or any of that cool stuff. So there's plenty of opportunity. If we have someone that was even curious about social media, for even 15 minutes a week, we could be triply as productive in social media as we are. And I want to say triply as useful. So not just generating noise, but content that's interesting to some of the people that dig what we do. You know, like videos of the cars being built and all that right. kind of stuff. Like we have time lapses of at least at least 11 different car builds all the way through to done. I don't know if any of them are posted. It's sad. <laughs> There's plenty of opportunity is the real answer. So if any of us have a niece, a nephew, a friend, a coworker who's social media curious and wants to get some experience with a nonprofit, helping them rock for a little while, we could sure use it. We have plenty of content. There's no shortage of that. That may be a perfect task for me to pawn off on my kids that are constantly on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> and they might dig helping daddy. Yeah. They might dig it. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's, that's good that it's if it's been tweeted to the Wikispeed account and the Scrum Inc. account, that I can find it. And barring nothing else, I can at least like that from the Wikispeed YouTube account to get something up there. So Okay, good, totally good to know. Available. Good to know because that's awesome. I want to see. You said they drove it down the road. And that's, yeah, they did. That's, well, that's mind-blowing. That's awesome. That's like oh, that's totally like cool. that's like recharge every battery everybody's batteries on the team and let's go you know that's, that's yeah, we had to find a sober driver <laughs> the whole team of, how many were there like thirty six people something like that not counting the trainers there were there were very few <laughs> that were sober but we found one and then of that someone who was really brave because we just built the thing so hey, hey, right? which engine are you using. Uh, Scrum Inc. owns an engine, an engine module, a Wikispeed engine module. They bought one from Team Wikispeed and then lend it back to us for these build parties that they host. So the client hosts it through Scrum Inc. and then Wikispeed gotcha. provides the rest so of the car. The one we pulled out of the, uh, the blue Honda? Mm -hmm. The 2006 Honda Civic, yeah. Is there any way you can use that on the next project to test the 31 uh, rubber dampened uh, semi rigid suspension? I'll ask Scrum Inc. That said, we have a whole bunch of engine modules now that are all, I want to say, I don't know. They don't have that much between what they are right now and being as good as a Scrum Inc. engine module, so it might not be an issue. But uh, I bet Scrum Inc. Would, would not be opposed, so plenty of options. But uh, in any case, I'm planning to switch to all electric if the Tesla Powerwall works out in Q1 of 2016, because that's when it goes on uh, on sale here. Um, so I'm hoping to test all this stuff under electric power as soon as the Warp 11 is online, um, which I don't have any ETA for, because I got to say, I don't have a plan to put a lot of time myself to it. I'm hoping an EV enthusiast can spend some time here and have a rocket and publish what they learned on YouTube as they do it. Um, who knows if that's a likely wish but that, that's my dreamy dream dream i just realized i don't think i ratified a process improvement i said wouldn't it be nice if and i don't remember taking a vote and that's how retrospective actually has to end uh, who would like to propose a process improvement from the suggestions we had 
I'll, I'll, I'll um, repeat what you said. If, um, of course, there is an if in there, but uh, to social uh, to share on social media and maybe get posted on the uh, main page there a some sort of a representation of the chassis. I will endorse that. Does anyone have an enhancement or refinement or an alternate alternate suggestion for a process improvement? Nope. Okay, then. Uh, I will uh, commit a strong word for volunteer projects, but I'll use it anyway. I'll at least say strongly intend to post on the two social media channels that I have an account that I've used in recent past, a link to the Wikispeed chassis. Uh, uh, if Chris Laws can provide a link that is shareable where people could download it. Uh, with that as the process improvement, will anyone else on the call agree or say, no, I really can't? Agreed. Agreed. Uh, well, that's three of us. Milo, uh, does this fit for you? Busy. <laughs> got it. Okay. So we've got some opting in and some folks who are friends of the team for the next sprint, which is totally fine. It just means they don't have the time to commit. I think that. You know, especially when it's a project to do for fun um, after all the other responsibilities. Cool, folks, that does conclude the sprint ceremonies, which I kind of skipped. Are there, that brings us back to open conversation. Are there other topics that people want to connect about with this group in this venue? I don't know. Uh, Chris, you, go ahead. Chris, you had mentioned uh, on the frame that you were worried about it uh, rusting out. Yes. Um, if I remember the VW. Uh, body it's pretty simple and would actually fit over a wiki speed chassis pretty well yeah it's actually interesting the more i'm looking at it how much of sort of a modular concept it is too when you start tearing it apart and um i've actually seen people rebuild them from aluminum uh, just with the interface points um and they make the aluminum really robust at this point rebuilding the a bw chassis out of aluminum would be more expensive than finding one in a junkyard that's completely intact um, but it, that does bring uh, up what I wanted to say, because Joe's talking about doing some some EV stuff with the the Warp 11, I think is what you're mentioning. Um, so the reason that I'm actually starting on the VW Roadster instead of the Mercedes uh, is because I plan on converting that to an EV. And I'll be using the Impulse 9, um, which I think Michael has a Warp 9. And um, the Impulse, Impulse 9 is just sort of a shorter version of that. Um, because it fits better in the VW frame, but but as far as I understand, all the other specs are the same. Um, so possibly by the time um, uh, the Tesla battery is available, I'll also have some knowledge about how how the EV works. Uh, the other reason I'm going that route is it may be, you know, trivial to once I get that that built into that VW to. That may end up being the engine module for the Texas shop uh, SGT01. Um, so it gives me kind of a platform to build on without interfering with anything else that we're doing. All right. Uh, next item was you said you had some depth problems in the uh, in the drop box going over to own cloud. Um, the only way I've been able to get around that kind of stuff is to zip the, the files of the directories in question and just put them in as zip files. Right. It doesn't really break the software as long as you when you, when you pull it down, you uh, you unzip it into the appropriate tree. That's a good idea. So what what uh, so what caused the problem originally is that I'm copying from the root of Dropbox into the document folder of OwnCloud. So there's an extra folder or two on top of it, which pushed some of the files far enough down in the directory structure to hit the maximum uh, limit of Microsoft's 256 characters. Um, mm -hmm. So my, my the solution I had in mind was actually to do a little, re you really should never end up that far down in a directory structure. So I was actually going to try to move some of those files back up. And that's where the, the challenge has been, I, you know, is sitting here at this computer with nothing else to do and just focusing on that. Um, trivial task, very boring, and probably isn't going to go exactly the way I thought it was going to go originally. So, um, but yeah, it's not like I said, it's not it's not like a major problem or anything. It's just me having the motivation 
uh, to actually get it done. But zipping the file is actually a good idea, that may, uh, especially for some of the CAD stuff. Um, may be helpful because we are eating up a lot of web space uh, using OwnCloud on an account that is called unlimited, but you know they don't like you to eat up gigs and gigs and gigs worth of space. So yeah, zipping may, may be a, a valid solution for those particular files. I've got a list of which ones they are. I just need to go back over and remind myself and they may not have been used in a long time. I have no idea. Okay, and lastly, if you need someone to pair up with, I can only do it in the evenings, but uh, I've, I've got a satellite link up at the, at the cabin now, so besides the massive 800 millisecond uh, uh, turnaround time packet, um, I should actually have some bandwidth. Awesome. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, right now, I haven't time boxed the time to actually deal with it, so... Let's let's play it by ear and see maybe sometime early next next week week not sprint but early next week we'll we'll both have some time to sit down for an hour and deal with it. And in fact, um, off the top of my head, Wednesday might be a good time to do it because we both generally try to get into the the scrum board call and there hasn't been um, many people available during that time for the scrum call or the scrum board call. So that may yep, be right a good, after the scrum call, or in fact, if, if we're going to do the, the only ones. scrum call, work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Pro yeah. The, 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 let's let's plan for that, and then we'll 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 play it by ear and see if that works good. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Um, in terms of uh, your build, good luck. Um, I still don't have a frame. I don't have a vision, so my progress is dismal, to say the least. Yeah. Yeah. So you no, know, uh, the you're talking about like the chassis, no, no uh, nothing then. Right. Okay. Like I've got I've got a stack of aluminum that I'm actually using to rebuild the floor on my Mazda because I cut out the seat when I shouldn't. Have. So right. uh, completely not working on the Wookie Speed car at all, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess it's it's somewhat spilt milk, but it would have been nice if we could have got that that uh, New Zealand chassis because that would have taking care, you know, that, that could have gone to you. And it's actually about the same, it was, it was honestly about this, it would have been the same price to get it to Texas, um, or actually to get it out of the shipping place as it was to purchase the aluminum from scratch, you know, just purchase it new. But, um, uh, yeah, the only thing that they had done is they had riveted it, I think. So they had some, uh, some metal on the side that they they uh, riveted on. I think they were actually using steel, if I recall. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen their design for sure. But yeah, getting getting that, I think just out. Basically, it would have cost more to ship it somewhere, but just getting it out of not customs, but the shipping location there. I think in San Francisco or wherever it was um, mm -hmm. was almost exactly the same as it cost me to get this this uh, aluminum from a local supplier. So. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me a whole lot. Right, right. So, but it is definitely an investment. It is one of the things that I've got to balance in this shop because I, I did put it on a credit card, and I also have a certain amount of money budgeted going into the shop every month. So putting that on that credit card puts all other purchases back about four or five months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I may end up building the chassis very quickly, and then waiting four or five months to do the suspension because that's, yep. you know, there's, that's it, life. yeah, it, it is a that's hobby it. and I am married. <laughs> so. I, uh, I'm actually quite interested in the, uh, in the CAD for the steering. Um, uh, I'm building a, uh, a small version of the electric car for my grandson mm -hmm. and the steering linkage that I'm using right now is a business. Um, if he cranks it hard left or right, he can tip it at almost any speed, which is really, really bad for a five-year-old. Just mix, also make sure you have a good roll bar, right? <laughs> that's, that's a good start no matter what. Um, uh, by the well, way, I did just get back from the closet. I do not have a Windows copy. However, I do have an 8-bit Nintendo tennis game. <laughs> I don't have an 8-bit Nintendo, but that was in the box of software. I don't know what that's going to do with that. Anyway, uh, so I'm on the Microsoft Store right now to see the cost, and then we can check Chris Wallace maybe if you do have a license, depending on the cost. If it's cheap, I'm just going to get it. Go right ahead. 
All right, uh, Joe, uh, that CAD for the steering um, sounds very interesting. I'm actually in the market for a steering linkage that I can scale down. Yeah, there is a CAD in uh, in the team Dropbox, Dr. Wolchek, that uh, has already been tested working for a steering rack that's all out of 2D plate. So there's a functional version now that's super inexpensive. Um, it doesn't take much aluminum. But uh, the version that's being fabbed now is even simpler based on what I learned from the last one we made. Uh, so it'll just keep getting better. But just so you know, there is already an option that's been tested working. Okay. Um, after my uh, my system crash, I haven't got Dropbox reinstalled yet, so uh, I will be attempting to do that. When you can. And also, um, well, anyway, yeah. So it, Windows 10 Home, according to Microsoft, is 120 bucks. I'd love to save that. So Dr. Lulch, um, Dr. Wallace, if you do have a license, do you think if you can let me know or the whole team know through email mm -hmm. or text or call me or whatever, text or email is better. Anytime before the start of next sprint, that would be worth knowing. Then I can test the scanner. Finding the license will probably be easier for me than finding the media. Because I thought the media was sitting right here in front of me, and I do not see it. <laughs> but the license is in my email and a login somewhere. Yeah, Microsoft has a completely legit thing. It's called the, uh, the like the Microsoft Media Creation Wizard or something. And you just select which version of uh, Windows or whatever you want to install or burn to DVD. And you suggest or select if you want a USB media or DVD media. And then you can burn it, and you need to have an internet connection for the Windows Genuine Advantage application, and for the download, of course. Have they then, got Have they gotten away from the concept of having so many different kinds of versions that only work with certain kinds of keys? Because my license specifically is what they call the Microsoft Action Pack, which is something you get from being part of the partner network and taking a, a certification test, uh, and it gives you. I don't, it gives that's, you I don't think that's part of the regular. It's just retail OEM and uh, volume. It, it may work with okay, so if it works with volume, it may work, uh, but it's definitely it, it's definitely not retail. But it may work with volume licensing. Uh, okay, okay, well it's good to know. I, I know I have it, so <laughs> I just need, it's just again, it, and mine's not in a possible known closet. I thought it was sitting here. <laughs> yeah, well I thought yeah, well I've now investigated the closet, so I've, I've spent my option. Um, <laughs> Do let me know, and if you can before next sprint, before the start of next sprint, because then I'll, I'll, I will invest the 120 bucks at that point. Okay, absolutely. Now, I'll, I'll make that a priority for sure. All right, guys. Um, as usual, it's tiring just listening to all the stuff that Joe got done during the week, but. Uh, I enjoyed your company, Michael Wolchek. I enjoyed it. I do think it's time. Um, folks, if there's additional follow-on questions, conversations, crosstalk that's helpful, please email it to the team list so everybody can participate in their own time zone when they have time, or at least see it streaming past. Uh, Dr. Wallace, if you don't mind, please do post this in the Wikispeed YouTube channel so other people know what it is we think we know. And uh, I'll continue the previous process improvement of not leaving the shops tonight or attempting not to until I've uploaded a demo video. All right, guys. Talk to you next week. Awesome. Right, well. You have a great evening. Good night.